In gene expression, messenger RNAs or mRNAs carry protein coding information from DNA to ribosome so as to allow protein synthesis. Eukaryotic mRNAs have some characteristic features such as the 5' cap and the 5' untranslated region or UTR which precedes the protein coding sequences or CDS. The CDS is followed by the 3' UTR and a long poly A tail. Poly A tail of mRNA promotes translation and plays a critical role in the control of mRNA stability. In this video, we will explain how the poly A tail regulates translation and mRNA decay. When mRNA comes out of the nucleus, poly A tail recruits cytoplasmic poly A binding protein or PABP, while the 5' cap binds to the EI4F complex. Subsequently, PABP associates with EI4F forming a loop linking the 5' and 3' ends of mRNA. This interaction helps to form the pre-initiation complex, which initiates protein synthesis by ribosome, the polypeptide synthesis machinery. mRNAs have a certain lifespan and get degraded in due time. In the RNA decay, the removal of poly A tail, also known as deadenylation, is generally a rate limiting step. The adenylation is mediated by two enzymatic complexes that are highly conserved throughout eukaryotes. Firstly, the PEN2 PEN3 complex, where PEN2 is a catalytic subunit. Secondly, the C0 complex with multiple subunits, among which CCL4 and CAF1 are subunits with catalytic activity. Poly tail is initially over 200 nucleotides and it is trimmed by the PEN2 PEN3 complex until the poly tail becomes about 150 nucleotides. But this initial trimming process does not seem to be critical for RNA decay. In contrast, the following step by the C0 complex is essential for the adenylation and plays a major role in mRNA stability control. The two subunits of the C0 complex have distinct activities with respect to PABP. CAF1 can only remove the free poly A tail, while CCL4 can trim PABP bound poly A tail, removing PABP. So overall, PABP facilitates the adenylation. CAF1 and CCL4 collaborate to complete the adenylation. When the last PABP is removed, the mRNA loop structure is disassembled and the 3' end of mRNA is exposed. This is when mRNA tail is targeted by terminal uridylyl transferases TUT4 and TUT7 that create a uridin tail on mRNA. The short U tail serves as a mark for the adenylated mRNA and it is recognized by the LSM complex and the other RNA decay factors. Decapping by DCP2 leads to rapid degradation of mRNA body in both directions. By XRN1 from the 5' to 3' direction and by exosome from the 3' to 5' direction. Thus, PABP has central and multifaceted functions. Firstly, PABP activates translation by interacting with translation factors. 
It also interacts with the C naught complex to promote the adenylation. At the same time, PABP blocks decay machinery so as to prevent premature mRNA decay. By interacting with multiple factors, PABP coordinates translation, deadenylation, and decay in a timely ordered manner.